Hey, this is Mass Sex with a new One Punch Man, the strongest video, and we have Prank Big Brawl coming April 1st. And you say, what the freaking bleep is Prank Big Brawl? Well, let's talk about it. Well, thanks to the good people at One Punch Man, the strongest tips. They have that information because it's already occurred on other regions. As you can see, it looks like our other events, okay? You're gonna have multiple things you can do. So a lot of it's gonna be a vitality dump. You're gonna have piercing eyes, laughter task bar, prank store, happy wheel, and campus challenge. So, Campus Challenge, it's going to have 20 stages, okay? Each stage, though, costs 12 Vitality. Boo! Not worth doing. I could have told you that without even looking at this. We know in these events, the Vitality Dumps are not worth it. Do your bare minimum. So, keep that in mind. If you want to do it, great. But, uh, yeah. These are never good, usually with the prize structures for the amount of vitality it is going to cost you. You've also got the prank store, and in the shop is where you spend your jelly beans, which you will acquire, and we will talk about that later on. It's, as you can see, it's your standard event store. It's gonna have some limited vouchers and some reset locks, which are nice. I highly recommend the reset locks if you can get them because they're not generally available in the game so good to get those and as it talks about here must gets of course bt bs and reversion cards you know not too bad and of course it says omni chest and reset locks to me reset locks right now since they're not really available in the game are probably a must get if you can and of course there will be a prank avatar frame in the shop next we're going to talk about the happy wheel the Happy Wheel is where you spend your happy vouchers. Every five vouchers gives you one spin on the Infinite Wheel. Once you have drawn all the prizes on the Infinite Wheel, you'll get one colorful voucher which you can spin on the Colorful Wheel. And that's the Colorful Wheel as you can see. The Colorful Wheel though does have better rewards. It has collector's item, prank character frame, and has a whole Dragon badge. Ooh. If you can afford some vitality, then you can go for it if you don't get enough to get to that point. Next is Piercing Eyes. It's a mini event where you can find NPCs at the main city or your home. They have a chance to be real where you can challenge them and win more beans and vouchers. Or if they are fake, then you just get a reward box. There's no way to know who is real or fake. So it's absolutely, totally random and luck based. It does say you can choose not to accept the box of the fake one and keep trying to find the real body. You just get those three tries a day, so keep that in mind. But if you do get a real body, you're gonna get 20 beans and five vouchers, so that is actually very good if you're able to hit that. They had some quick tips in here, for instance, uh, if you've got the RMG lineup, you got to put Zombie Man in that mid-to-back line and a strong tank, CK or TTM in front, so she will be busy with Zombie Man. Next up, we've got the Laughter Task Bar. It's a quest portion like you've seen before in other events. Do your daily quests and hence you're going to get your rewards. So what's it all boil down to? Dail daily quests, basically just 100 activity a day. Um, you know, complete unnatural disaster three times. That's really up to you. If you're doing it that day, then great. If you're not, don't push your vitality just for this. Complete club boss challenge two times a today. That's not bad. Challenge the arena five times. Again, easy peasy. Challenge extreme training three times. Again, super easy if you're doing your dailies. But by just doing those above ones, gonna net you 20 beans and four vouchers daily. So that should be pretty much a piece of quit, <laughs> piece of cake, okay. Event quests include consuming 60 vitality a day, participate in piercing eyes one time a day, daily login, easy stuff, etc., etc. Again, pretty straightforward. 
so if you just do that okay it's gonna net you 18 to 20 beans for vouchers daily and also easily and it's also all free and then from there you can get even more by challenging the real bodies in the piercing event so that gets you up to possibly 60 a day so basically your total free totals are not bad at all and you should be able to get the rewards that you probably are looking for as long as you're not greedy and then you don't have to burn any true vitality outside of what is freely available to you so that's good so like with these events like i talk about every time is just do your dailies get the free stuff done and then make your decision from there because in the end those vitality dumps are generally not worth it in the long run but that's really about it for the prank big brawl our you know april 1st april fool's day type of event nice to always get events but just keep in mind this is not something to go crazy on especially if you're free to play do your basics do your dailies get that freebie stuff done that's all you gotta focus on to at least get some decent prizes in the end once this comes out if there's any changes or anything important to let you guys know about i will of course be doing an update because this is a preview of an event we have not seen before but generally they have not made any changes so this is pretty safe stuff alrighty with that please like and subscribe it helps so much have a great day